Chapter 1 Generations of Computers Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Know the characteristics feature of different generations of computer Learn about the primary and secondary memory of a computer Warm up What did or do they use? Teachers note Apprise students that with every passing generation, progress takes place. That makes our life better. Hey friends, let's learn about different generations of computers. In today's world, for almost every activity, whether personal or business related, in some or other way, we rely on the computer system. It's amazing how easily computers operate in terms of speed, accuracy and readiness. As a result of their high-speed processors and data storage devices, modern computers are more potent than earlier models, which were only meant to be used for calculations. Since ancient times, simple manual machines like the Abacus helped people in doing calculations. In 1833, Charles Babbage, who is referred to as father of computer, invented the machine called analytical engine. It was the first ever working model of a mechanical computer, whose structure is considered the basic framework of modern day computers today. Input, Output and Storage Generations of Computer The technology employed changed with each generation. The modern day computer is the result of changes that took place over a period of time. There are five generations of computers. Generation of computer. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. First generation of computers, 1942-1956. The features of the first generation computers were, these computers were huge in size. The calculations were carried out using circuitry made of vacuum tubes. They used a lot of electricity and produced a lot of heat. They used punch card for the communication of data. Examples Mark I, Enac and Univac. Second generation of computers 1956-1963 In this generation, assembly language and high-level programming language like Fortran and COBOL were used. The computers used batch processing and a multi-programming operating system. Storage media such as tape, disk and printers were in use for output. Do you know? Similarly to modern day electric bulbs, vacuum tubes existed. They used to fuse regularly and produce a lot of heat. The Univic had 5200 vacuum tubes. The features of the second generation computers were They were a bit large but smaller, cheaper and faster than first generations of computer. In order to perform the calculation, they used transistor instead of vacuum tubes. Magnetic tape were used to store data. In this generation, the use of the keyboard as an input device was also introduced. Examples IBM 1620, IBM 1794, and Univac 1108. Third generation of computers, 1964 to 1971. Integrated circuits were developed in the third generation, which resulted in smaller sized computers with better performance and more storage. The main features of the third generation computers were they used integrated circuit which reduced the size and increased the speed of the computers. They were more affordable and efficient than second generation computers. Monitors and keyboards were used for communication. Example, Honeywell 6000 series, IBM System 360 and Univic 9000 series. Fourth generation of computers, 1972-1981. Let me answer. Who comes in the fourth generation in your family? 
the invention of very large scale integration vlsi came into existence in which thousand of transistor were on a single chip called a microprocessor the main features of the fourth generation computers were the size of the computers was reduced to what we call a personal computer the speed of the computers was increased and the cost was reduced GUI operating system was introduced. Examples: DEC10, Crate2, and Apple2. Fifth generation of computer, 1982 to present. In the fifth generation, Wolsey technology became ULSI, Ultra Large Scale Integration Technology. The devices are equipped with AI-based technologies like face detectors fingerprint detectors and much more remember it the first microprocessor was created by intel the main feature of the fifth generation computers were the size cost speed and are improved with high performance development of new versions of gui operating system the computers can recognize a human face fingerprints and voice examples notebook from IBM and robots the two key factors that have accelerated the development of different generations are processing speed and storage capacity it is important for us to know about computer memory and its types computer memory and its types computer memory refers to the storage area of a computer where all the data and instructions are stored computer memory primary internal memory ram rom ram sram dram rom prom eprom eeprom secondary external memory hard disk blu-ray disk cd dvd flash drive primary memory Primary memory is a section of computer memory that the CPU can access directly. Also called main memory or internal memory. It has constrained capacity. We can broadly classify primary memory into two parts. One, read only memory or ROM. Two, random access memory or RAM. Read only memory or ROM. As the name suggests, we can only read from this memory and cannot write on it. It is the built-in memory of a computer. Moreover, it does not lose data after the power supply is cut off. It is non-volatile. Furthermore, its main function is to store the program and instructions permanently. ROM is of three types. PROM The user can only change the programmable read-only memory once. EPROM it is erasable programmable read only memory which can be erased as well reprogrammed eep rom the electrically erasable programmable read only memory can be modified by erasing the content and reprogrammed random access memory or ram random access memory is a type of computer memory that can be read and modified in any order it is usually used to store working data and machine code the storage of data and instructions is temporary. It is a volatile memory. When the power is cut off, it loses its content. We can broadly classify RAM into two types on the basis of behavior. SRAM As long as the computer is powered on, the data is kept into static RAM. SRAM DRAM This memory is temporary and constantly refresh its content. Secondary Memory Secondary memory stores a large amount of information permanently. It does not lose its memory when the power is off. It's also called external memory. Some of the secondary storage devices are hard disk, CD-ROM, digital versatile disk, Blu-ray disk and pen drive. Hard disk. Hard disk are storage devices designed to hold a lot of information. It is the main and the largest secondary data storage device in a computer. Hard disk store the operating system, software and other files. It is created using the collection of disks known as platers. 
The platers are placed one below the other. They are coated with magnetic material. CD-ROM Compact disc read only memory. It is an optical storage device that has the capacity to hold a wide range of data in the form of text, photos, videos and audio. The storage capacity of a CD is up to 700 MB of data. Its shape is circular and is made up of polycarbonate plastic. DVD Digital Versatile Disc A digital versatile disc, usually known as DVD, resembles a CD in appearance but has a larger storage capacity, holding up to 4.7 GB of data. Blu-ray Disc a Blu-ray disc looks just like a CD or a DVD, but it can store data or information up to 25 GB data. It is developed for recording, rewriting and playing high-definition video. The name Blu-ray is derived from the technology that is used to read the disc blue. From the blue wallet laser and ray from an optical ray. Pen Drive a pen drive is a small device which is used to transfer or store data. It is also called a USB drive or flash drive. It comes in various storage capacities such as 1GB, 2GB, 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, 32GB, 64GB, up to 1TB. Let me answer. For what purposes have you used a pen drive? Get IQ. List the names of the brands which make pen drives. Let's recall. Charles Babbage is referred to as the father of computer. There are five generations of computers. First generation computer used punch card for the communication of data. In the second generation, the use of keyboard as an input device was also introduced. In the fourth generation, GUI operating system was introduced. Primary memory is also referred to as main memory. Secondary memory is also referred to as external memory. Upscale your intelligence. A. Belinda Blanks. In ancient times, simple manual machines like Dash helped people in doing calculations. Answer Abacus. 2. Dash is referred to as the father of computer. Answer Charles Babbage. 3. Dash was the first ever working model of a mechanical computer. Answer Analytical Engine. 4. There are Dash generations of computers. Answer 5. 5. Dash circuits were developed in the third generation. Answer Integrated Circuit. B. Write T for true statements and F for false statements. 1. Computers of the first generation were small in size. Answer. True. 2. Magnetic tapes were used in the second generation computers to store data. Answer. True. 3. IBM System 360 is an example of a third generation computer. Answer. True. 4. In the 5th generation of computers, VLSI came into existence. Answer. True. 5. ULSI stands for Uniform Large Scale Integration. Answer. False. C. Answer in one word. 1. A type of computer memory that can be read and modified in any order. Answer. RAM. Random Access Memory 2. A secondary storage device which resembles a CD in appearance but has a larger storage capacity. Answer. Digital Versatile Disk DVD 3. A storage device that is also referred to as USB drive or flash drive. Answer. Pen drive 4. The memory which is temporary and constantly refreshes its content. Answer. ROM. Read only memory. 5. A storage device made up of polycarbonate plastics. Answer. CD-ROM. Compact disc. Read only memory. D. 
write the following in expanded form one row answer read only memory two ram answer random access memory three cd rom answer compact disc read only memory four dvd answer digital versatile disc five vlsi answer very large scale integration e answer the following questions one how many generations of computers are there answer there are five generations of computers two write the features of the second generation of computers answer the main electronic component is the transistor memory magnetic core and magnetic tape disk programming language assembly language power and size low power consumption generate less heat and smaller in size in comparison with the fourth generation computers 3 state the difference between the third generations and the fourth generations of computers answer the third generation of computers was produced between 1965 and 1971 and the fourth generation was produced between 1971 and 1980 while fourth generation computer used VLSI technology or very large scale integrated circuits third generation computers use integrated circuits i says 4 what do you mean by primary memory explain answer the part of the computer's primary storage usually referred to as main memory stores data programs and instructions that are now being used on the motherboard is where the primary storage is data can be read from and written to primary storage very quickly as a result 5 explain any three types of secondary storage devices answer devices for secondary storage secondary storage is a memory that is kept of the computer's main memory bus It is mostly employed for the long-term permanent storage of programs and data. Secondary storage types include hard drives, CDs, DVDs, pen, flash drives, SSDs and more. Critical thinking. A some features have been listed below. Segregate them in appropriate columns. GUI operating system was introduced. punched cards for the communication of data usage of integrated circuits punched cards for the communication of data the use of the keyboard as an input device was introduced answer do it yourself b samaksh attended the marriage ceremony of his cousin's brother he wants to take all the picture but the file is larger than 16 gb advise him as to what should he do answer do it yourself team work let us discuss the topic generation of computers which generation of computers do you use list five ways which types of secondary storage do you use list the name of the devices answer do it yourself